Hi guys, James here with another guitar tutorial. Today we're going to look at power chords. They're a really cool and interesting way to really upscale your music playing really quickly and they're fairly simple to pick up. So let's have a look. So power chords have been around since probably the late 50s, early 60s. Um, Jazz has used to play a similar variant called a bar chord and that's how you see them get around so much with like all the fancy chords and fancy shapes that we don't really need to look at but this was simplified and made into power chords now power chords do believe was the kinks that had the first song with power chords that made the charts which was you really got me and the reason why they've become so popular is they're so simple and so f much faster to change than open chords such as let's say let's say go G C and you want to go like, Whereas if I'm playing power chords, I can up that speed. Um, and then it, with them being simpler as well, you know, bands like Nirvana really took power chords to another level. Green Day, punk, any sort of punk, grunge, rock, they all have power chords, you know, um, Teenage Dirtbag Wheaters. <laughs> So how to play power chords is really simple. We use three fingers. The reason I'm holding my middle finger in is that it's the finger we don't use on our fretting hand. So every power chord is the same shape. It is just a movable shape that you can move. So basically we are playing the first and the fifth, if you're into music theory, of the note. So we're going to use G as an example. So we all know open G. Quite a nice sounding chord. But if we want to play something a bit faster and a bit more aggressive, we'd use the G power chord. Now to do that, we'd start with our first finger on the third fret of the sixth string. And then we look one, two frets up. We place our third finger this one, here, on the A string, on the 5th fret, and then your pinky finger tucks in on the 4th string on the 5th fret again, because your middle finger doesn't play anything. And that's the basic shape you keep for every power chord. Even all the old rock and roll and bluesy, that was based around some power chord shapes. Right? So once again, that is first fret on your root note, as we'll call it, because that is the note of G. Then on the third, and then the fifth. Now something for people who may have got to grips with that. Now I'm going to play um, what I call the Blackmore variant of power chords. Richie Blackmore plays them a lot and I use them quite a bit in my playing and basically all you're doing is you're leaving out the root note so for example in G use the G power chord we run about so instead of hitting this root note we remove that and we just play the third and the fifth this is very good if you're playing in a group because you don't want everyone hitting those low bass frequencies and obviously it means you can skip power chords even faster Richie Blackmore riff. Or basically anything by Deep Purple, you've got Burn as well. Okay. Anything along those lines uses power chords, so just keep practicing them. <laughs> 